Few questions this morning over what former President Trump can and cannot say about the Manhattan DA's indictment against him over those alleged hush money payments from 2016. The judge has reportedly ordered Mr. Trump to appear in court virtually next week, where he will hear rules on what he is able to say with a warning not to use evidence to attack witnesses. For more on what all this means, let's speak with Judge Andrew Napolitano, a former New Jersey Superior Court judge and also very familiar with Mr. Trump. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, sure. It's a pleasure, Adrian, as always. The judge in this case is quoted as saying, I'm bending over backwards and straining to make sure that he, meaning Mr. Trump, is given every opportunity possible to advance his candidacy and to be able to speak in furtherance of his candidacy. The last thing I want to do is infringe on his or anybody else's First Amendment rights, end quote. But if the judge says he won't bar him from talking about the case, what exactly are they trying to prevent him from doing? Well, the, the procedure that's going on as we speak is called discovery. Discovery means that the government, as required by law, is sharing its files with defense counsel. So the defense counsel and the defendant know what to expect, what will help the government, what will hurt the government, what the government has that will help uh, the defendant, what the government has that will hurt the defendant. What the judge wants to prevent Trump from doing is taking that raw discovery, which the judge himself has not yet seen, and talking about it publicly. So Trump, like anybody else, can say whatever he wants on any political subject he wants. He can rip into the prosecution. He can attack the prosecutors. He can attack the judge. He can attack the system. But what he cannot do is use information or data from that discovery process in his attacks. That's what the judge is going to caution him against. Why? Because if he does do that, then he is attempting to influence the, the jury pool, the public from, a, from, whom, from among whom the jury will be selected by selectively addressing evidence in the case that the judge hasn't even ruled on yet. Normally, in your average criminal case, this is not a problem. But of course, this is not your average criminal case. Right. The defendant has the biggest megaphone in the world. And he's a very, 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 very public figure, particularly in New York, uh, with the contempt issue on the table. Is this rare for someone as high profile? I've never heard in the thousands of cases I've dealt with and, and my colleagues on the bench, I've never heard uh, of a judge speaking judge to defendant in this capacity, that is, don't use the discovery. You're entitled to look at it. You can discuss it with your lawyers. You can discuss it with your legal staff, but you can't use it uh, publicly. But of course, this is a unique candidate. His, his personality is unique. And the fact that he is uh, the leading Republican candidate for uh, the Republican nomination for the presidency makes him unique. Yeah, so I know. the judge has to walk a very fine line here. He has to give the benefit of the doubt to Trump's freedom of speech. But he cannot allow Trump to use information which the judge hasn't yet seen about the case in his political diatribes. So I know that he's appearing virtually because of the entirety of security uh, necessary for when he travels to New York. Uh, I mean, it's just the maneuvers to get him into the city. It's just mind boggling. But would the court have to at least take into consideration the timing of all of this? I read somewhere uh, that it's possible that he'll be in court uh, during the primary. So as a matter of consideration, because of the special circumstances of this particular man, would the court take all of that in? Probably not. The court has a, a schedule and the court will stick to its schedule. The trial date is, uh, is currently put down for late January or early February, the political activities of the defendant should not be taken into account. He can't be giving, given any special uh, privileges or treatment because he's running for a president of the United States. I say that as a, somebody who's a friend of his, but I'm just telling you how I think the court will rule and how the court should rule. Judge Napolitano, thanks as always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.